If you like to play The Long Dark, then you know that this game is all about the loot. There is a lot of loot to find in Great Bear Island, however, some of it is really well hidden. And in this video, we're going to go through some of the hidden loot that you can find in The Long Dark. Let's get to it. Just a disclaimer before we start, I'm going to show you 10 locations in a game that have hidden loot, but what kind of loot you find there will vary depending on difficulty and sometimes RNG, and I will point out any consistencies that there are. Alright, let's hop into the hidden loot. First, we have Grey Mother's House in Mountain Town, a place you're probably very familiar with if you have played Story Mode. Once you get inside Greymother's house, head up the stairs and then down the hallway into a little closet. Here you'll find a piece of cloth blocking a little shelf. If you break down this cloth, there will be loot hidden behind it. What kind of loot you get will vary tremendously, but you'll always find loot there, even on Interloper. The best loot I have ever found in this location is a cured maple sapling, which would mean that theoretically speaking, if you're playing an Interloper, you can get the bow as early as day 4 on an interloper run. Our next location is the community hall in Thompson's Crossing. If you go in here there is a hidden cabinet to be found. When you're in the main hall, if you go over to the stage and to the left there is a cabinet you can loot, but there is a second cabinet to your right behind a table. The only issue is that in order to access this, you actually need to break it down with a hatchet. So if you don't have one, you have to make one or find one. Once you break it down, you will reveal the secret hidden cabinet behind. The loot you find there is completely random and it could be empty. The best loot I've ever heard of ever being found there is a Mackinac jacket. So it's kind of random whether you get loot there or not, but it's secret, that's for sure. Next we have Hibernia Processing in Desolation Point. Here there are two hidden loot locations. The first one is inside the main hall and if you're looking towards the left here you'll see that there is a pipe that is tilted upwards. If you go up this pipe you reach a little area with some upside down rowboats and in here you can find a bunch of miscellaneous loot like rifle rounds, bandage and usually a bit of food. Once you get in there though, don't just loot what's on the ground right away but remember to turn around and look up and you'll usually find some extra food and plastic container. On interlope, but this is also one of the possible bedroll spawns, so it's definitely worth going up it to check it out. Before you leave Hibernia Processing though, there is one other area of hidden loot here. This is again in the main hall, but instead of going up the pipe, you turn all the way left against the wall and you'll see there are some green boxes here. If you break these boxes down, you will access a hidden area behind it where there is a backpack. The amount of loot you find here is again pretty much random. The best loot I've ever found is a stim on the ground. Our next location is the legendary summit location in Timberwolf Mountain. If you're playing survival mode and you haven't been up here, you definitely should make the trek up here because there is so much loot to be found, especially on lower difficulties. And if you are up here and you find yourself very heavy with too much loot, I have a video that shows you how to get down from here without using rope so you can grab all that good loot down there. However, that's not what this video is about. It is about the hidden loot that's up here. And there are two crates at the back of the plane that can have loot inside of it. One is behind a container and the other is near the entrance to the plane. One of these crates will always have loot inside of it, so it's worth breaking these down to see what's inside. What you do find inside though will vary tremendously and sometimes you just find a rope and some scrap metal, but it's also possible to find things like accelerants and matches here. Before you leave though, there is also a hidden corpse in the plane that you want to loot, which is hidden underneath the level that you enter when you get into the plane. To get there, you have to hop down to the lower level of the fuselage and then there is a corpse there which you can loot. And when you do that, 
this corpse will pretty much always have double maple syrup on him if you're playing on interloper. If you're playing on lower difficulties, you can get all sorts of other loot on him too, such as a stim. So yeah, Summit is definitely worth going to for many reasons. Next up we have the old Spence family homestead or Spence's farm as we often call it and here there is a bunch of hidden loot. First off you can head underneath this little hiding area here and there'll be a green box right in front of you. The loot you want isn't actually inside the box although you can break it down but it is behind the box. You'll always find dog food here. Even on interloper you'll usually find two or three of these. And then if you turn around you'll see that there is a safe behind you hidden behind the other two boxes in this little area. You can break down the boxes to get this safe or what you can do is to go around the farm and then look behind a little crack on the outside and then you can open the safe. This will come in handy. But that's not it. We're not done yet. After you open the safe, there's one other hidden area here, which is to go up where the bed is in this farm. And then there are two green crates and the big one in the back will have accelerants in it if you break it down. So this is definitely an area that it might be small, but there's a lot of hidden loot to be found here. This next hidden loot is in the maintenance yard and this is a big one especially on Interloper. When you head into the maintenance yard itself, have a look at the green crates that are on your upper left because one of these crates has hidden loot inside of it. If you go up there and break down this crate, you can find really good stuff inside including an air wrap and a stim. So this loot is really good. And on Interloper, this is actually one of the hidden bonus stims you can find. And it is definitely worth checking this location out. It is, however, not guaranteed. It only has a chance to spawn, but I would definitely recommend breaking down this crate on any difficulty if you can do so. Next up we have some hidden loot that is not particularly rewarding but it's fun to know that it's there. This is in the Carter Hydro Dam in Winding River. When you are on the outside of the dam there are a lot of these metal pipes around and sometimes there are hidden loot inside of these pipes such as a metal container or sometimes a backpack. However, many of these pipes are blocked by pallets that you need to break down in order to access the loot behind it. Arguably, this isn't necessarily worth it because the loot you get is random and often of poor quality, but it is hidden, that's for sure. Mystery Lake is an area that people are probably very familiar with, but it's actually kind of unique in that it has no guaranteed match spawns there. Instead, it has a guaranteed maglen spawn that is often well hidden. However, you will find it in one of four places. It will either be found in the camp office on the lower level hidden behind a bookshelf in a corner or it will be at the upper level behind some boxes near the beds. If it's not in either of those two locations, it will be up in the lookout tower nearby. And if it's not there either, then it will be in Trapper's cabin, hidden behind the chair, the blue chair that you find in there. On lower difficulties, it's not guaranteed that the magnets will be in these locations, but on Interloper, you are guaranteed to find it in one of these four places. Our next hidden loot is near Wolf's Jaw Overlook in Ash Canyon. If you go from here towards the gold mine, there is an area that's kind of hidden that will have potentially good loot. Many people miss this because they just keep going forward, but what you're supposed to do once you get into this little mini cave that's here is to turn around and look behind you and you'll see that there can be a bear coat laying on the ground. This is very easy to miss because people don't tend to look behind themselves when they move about and this is the only place in the game where you can find a already made bear coat so it's definitely worth checking this out. Even if it doesn't spawn there you usually get other things like books, wood, 
or maybe a storm lantern there so it's always worth checking this little area but just while we're here let me also point out that if you're playing an interloper and you keep moving from this area a little bit up to around the corner and while you're looking at a cave in front of you you should just turn left and you'll see a hidden stim. This is one of the guaranteed stims that spawn on Interloper and it is always there. I have heard a few rare reports when it wasn't there but I think that is a bug because I've never not found it there myself. We're ending with a, the last hidden loot area which is the last resort cannery in Bleak Inlet. If you find yourself in this hellhole of a place infested with timber walls, then you deserve the good loot that's there, don't you? And there's actually several things to find there and I'm not talking about the workshop. The first one is a alcove that a lot of people seem to miss. Inside the cannery there is a blue rope that you need to climb up in order to access the workshop during the aurora. But we're not going to climb up there. Instead what we're going to do is go out on the pier where you can see the workshop across and then what you want to do is go left. First off you'll see that there are some blue flares laying about which is very handy to have. But it doesn't stop there. Just keep going and you'll see some double doors. And these doors actually open and inside there's a whole bunch of stuff that you can find. Including food, uh, cabinets, metal containers and lockers. And you can even sleep here if you want. So this is a little hidden area that many players have missed. However, the secrets of the cannery doesn't actually end there. Keep in mind that the cannery has a bunch of hidden food inside the green crates. Pretty much all the green crates around here can be broken down and you will find tin of sardines inside of them. So it's, there's quite a lot of sardines to be found if you want in here. And just before we go, there is actually one more hidden item here in Bleak Inlet Cannery, which is inside the trailer near the entrance. Go inside here and then head to the left over to a bin that's in the corner. And if you look closely at the bottom of this bin, there is a salty crackers, which you can pick up. And to my knowledge, this is always there. So that's it for the hidden loot of the long dark. There is of course a lot more hidden loot to be found. And sometimes there's things this kind of hidden in plain sight, but maybe somewhere we don't actually tend to look. So make sure that when you're out there surviving, you check every corner, under every bed, every way you can think of, because there's always going to be something that you missed. And with that said, I hope you had, a, had fun and stay safe out there, survivor. See you next time. This will come in handy.